Hey guys, it's Adam, and I'm back. Sorry I haven't done a video for a while. They had me in a not so far away place doing military stuff. So, today is Veterans Day, and I decided to do an American delicacy. We're gonna smoke a beer can chicken, AKA chicken on the throne, AKA a beer butt chicken. Now normally I would take a beer can and shove it up a chicken, but today I figured I'd try something different. Today, I'm gonna put my trust into Martha because that woman comes up with some crafty shit. Check this out. This is her family friendly beer butt chicken contraption. See what you do is you take your beer, you dump it in this little hole right here, and you fill it with all the types of spices, and then you just sit the chicken on top, and boom, magical. So let's get started. Ah, that's good coffee. So here we have some nice Pam olive oil spray, cooking spray. Uh, it's gonna be used as like the base uh, for the chicken. We're gonna spray it on there, so that way all the seasonings that we dump on are gonna stick to it nice and uh, tight. Uh, here we have our main seasoning. Um, it's just an all-purpose uh, rub. It's got garlic, pepper, uh, salt, um, I'm sure onion and other things. Hopefully there's MSG in there because I love MSG. But if you look right there, it says gluten-free. That means it's good for you. Here we have my own uh, brand of uh, rub that I just throw together, Copa Smoke. It's a nice label, I know. Uh, it's just pretty much for color. We're just going to do a light little dab of it on there just to make it look pretty. Uh, over here, we have a uh, injection that uh, I'm going to do. Now, I've never done an injection before, so that's also a first. I have this huge needle. Um, gives me flashbacks to when I got the penicillin shot in basic training, but, you know, actually, I think that that is the actual size of it, too. Um, I might be kidding, but it really hurt. Anyways, it's just uh, butter, some uh, chicken bouillon, some water, and uh, some of this stuff right here. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So, let me show you how I rub my chicken. Okay, guys. So what we have here is your uh, standard young chicken. It's about six to seven pounds. Um, because we're overseas here, we get them frozen. So uh, I recommend getting a fresh one, but if you can't, then this is no harm here. Just let it thaw out in the fridge, uh, nice and slow. So um, let's, uh, let's get started here. I'm gonna pat this dry, and then we're gonna get spraying. All right, now she's all dried off. We're gonna start uh, with the Pam here. Just gonna get a nice little coat here. Now, don't worry about overdoing it. This is uh, it's fine. Any kind of cooking spray works. Um, we just happen to have Pam. So we'll do this side first. All right, that's all done. So let's start with the uh, the little uh, the badia, if you will. So nice, nice little coat over it. You want to make sure it's all even on you know, the wings. Man, this stuff smells good. Just like that. Okay. All right, and then uh, we're gonna do some of my cup and smoke rub. Now this is more for uh, color, more than uh, flavor. Let me give that nice mahogany type color. The smoke and the cooking. Just like that. All right, and we're gonna flip it over and uh, do the same thing. Okay, so now that both sides are uh, seasoned properly, it's time to uh, inject this uh, this thing. So just gonna take a couple CCs here, and we're gonna get in the breast. You don't wanna uh, put a bunch of puncture marks in here; just uh, three or four would be fine. You just get in there. Oh yeah, she's pumping up. And if you feel bone, uh, just pull back and uh, try again. This is gonna make the uh, the meat nice and juicy. Some butter in there is gonna 
render down. It's going to be great. <clears throat> Let me do the drummies here. You don't have to do the wings unless you want to. Um, there's not really a lot of meat on there, but it's up to you. It's the best thing about barbecue is you can do whatever you want. I guess with cooking in, in general. All right, Put some more in here. I like this little uh, little thing, little injector. It's my first one. I'm gonna try and do this more often here. You know what? Let's get back in there. Let's fill this thing up here. Oh yeah. All right. Well, now it's time to add the uh, the liquid into the uh, little contraption here. I forgot to mention earlier, uh, we're gonna be using uh, some Orion beer. Um, being in Japan, it's the uh, I guess their favorite beer here over here. So uh, let's get started. Now, usually, uh, when you put the beer into the chicken, the beer can into the chicken, you have to take about three quarters of it out. You can drink it, but this thing, you pretty much add the whole entire uh, beer can, which is pretty nice. And then we're just going to add some uh, some more seasonings in here. Now I'm going to be doing some some things here. A little of that. Look at that. Mix it up all nice like. Oh, it's a volcano. Okay, so now that you have all your uh, beer delicious liquid in here, we're going to take the chicken and we're going to shove it on top. So, uh, yep, here we go. Ugh. And uh, well, there it is. Wow. I'm going to take these chicken arms back here and kind of come back like that. Oh, come on now. Okay. And there you have it. Today we're going to be using uh, my Yoder YS640. Uh, we're going to cook it at 300 degrees because um, you want it to get hot and uh, fast so that skin like, gets nice and crispy. Um, it's going to be about two to two and a half hours. Uh, what we're looking for is 165 degrees in the breast and 175 in the uh, dark meat, like the, the thighs and whatnot. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw her on. So the stand is okay, I guess. Um, I've seen better stands. I hold it up, but we'll see how it turns out. Um, you know, it's Martha Stewart, so she knows what she's doing. Um, I'm going to check this again in about an hour just to see how she's looking. Um, see if I need to put more uh, Pam on there for uh, the skin complexion, make it all nice and crispy and pretty looking. So right now, the uh, smoker's at... Uh, it's at 350. It's gonna come down to 300 and maintain that right there. Um, now I thought about using these uh, pellet tubes for extra smoke, like uh, I usually do with um, all my stuff on the Yoder, because the Yoder just doesn't really put out that strong of a uh, wood flavor. But it is chicken, and I'm using hickory, and I don't want it to be overpowering. So we're gonna try it without these and see how everything turns out. All right, guys, it's been about an hour and uh, 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and open it up and see uh, what she looks like. good doesn't look like I need to spray with anything yet maybe I don't have to um, like I said the spray is just for uh, to keep it from burning and make it keep, keep it look good but uh, yeah she's looking all right so we got another another hour and a half and then uh, she should be done we're gonna probe it here uh, shortly to see where we're at okay the chicken has been on for two hours and 67 minutes so let's open it up and see what she looks like. Oh boy. That looks delicious. Go ahead and get in there. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh boy. 
Okay, well, before I uh, drool all over this and contaminate it, I'm going to uh, probe it, and hopefully it's done, and I'll take it inside. Okay, so when I probed the chicken, the breasts were at 167 degrees, and the thighs were at 178. That's perfect. So what I'm going to do now is let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes. That way it gives it enough time for the meat and the skin to kind of get tight and preserve all those juices before we cut into it. Come on, come on, hurry up. Oh my God. Come on, hurry up! Oh boy. Okay, it's done. And it's finally time to cut into it. Even though the chicken rested for 15, 20 minutes, it's still gonna be a little hot. So you gotta be careful when you take it off. So here we go. It's gonna, oh, ooh. Oh, she just slides right off. Okay. Oh yeah. My dog's excited. Well, I'm gonna dig into this real quick. I have to. It's laying off. Oh, skin's really, oh, it just came off. Okay, well. This is gonna be pretty good here. Oh man. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. I did a good job. Mmm. Holy crap. That's really good. Okay guys, so before I go, I just want to say uh, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I know I said before that I would make videos as often as I could, and I am. It's just there has been some recent trips that I've had to make, um, which didn't give me any time. But let's not forget what Veterans Day really means. It's not about a day off or a barbecue or the possibility of getting a discount at a restaurant. Veterans Day is about honoring all the brave men and women that have served and fought in a war overseas far away from their families and home. It's about honoring those who have returned and those who didn't. So if you see a veteran, shake their hand and tell them thank you, because none of this will be possible without them.